Hi, my name is Stuart Lynch. Wordle is a word game created by Josh Wordle, a software engineer from Brooklyn. And he created a guessing game for himself and his partner and his family that proved so popular with that group that he thought he might be on to something. So he released it as a web app to the rest of the world in October. And since then, it's taken the internet by storm. It's a once-a-day game which invites players to guess a five-letter word. And after guessing a word, the game tells you whether any of your letters are in the secret word and whether they are in the correct place. You have six tries to get it right. Whether you're successful or you're not, you're presented with a screen showing you how you are progressing over time. What I decided to do was to create a free nine-part video series on how you can build the application using Xcode and SwiftUI. I've tried to replicate the application and feature set as closely as possible, but added a couple of additional features. This is for educational purposes only and should not be submitted to the App Store for obvious reasons. It's not your idea, nor is it mine. Throughout the process, you'll learn many Swift and SwiftUI concepts, including designing for the iPhone and iPad, how to scale for different device sizes and orientation, You'll allow your users to pick a permanent light or permanent dark mode or apply the system color scheme. And finally, you'll synchronize your results across all of your devices. If you like this video, please leave a comment below and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure you ring that bell to get notified of new videos. And if you want to support my work and see more videos like this, you can buy me a coffee. First thing we're going to do is to create a new Xcode project. Name the application Wordle, and make sure you set the interface to SwiftUI and the language to Swift. We won't need tests, but we will create a Git repository on our Mac, as that's recommended. Now I've created a number of assets that we can use for this project. And these are available from the resources folder that you can download from the link in the description below. So open your project and right click on the assets.xc assets folder and choose show in finder. And this will open and reveal the location of the project's asset folder. Delete that version that you have there and replace it with the set provided. When you return to Xcode, you'll see that you now have an accent color specified for both any and dark appearance, an app icon, a folder of color assets, all with light and dark versions, and a folder of help screen images, and a launch screen image. For all of the colors, I simply used an eyedropper color picker on the web version of the Wordle app to capture the different colors used and added them to my project as named color assets. Now I found that the plist version of using a, an image for the launch screen to be quite buggy in SwiftUI, and I never know what the size of that image is going to appear as. Sometimes it's really big. So I've reverted now to using a launch screen storyboard. So choose File, New File, and then search for and select a launch screen, and save it in the Wordle group. You can remove the text field. Then click on the plus button to add an image view. Select launch screen in the image field of the attributes inspector. You can add new alignment constraints to the image by choosing the horizontal in container and vertical in container constraints. And then on the target in the general tab, you can choose launch screen for the launch screen file. Now we're going to be building this application for both the iPhone and the iPad, but we want to limit the rotation of the device on the iPhone to be portrait mode only. And we can do this so that we can control how we want our game board and keyboard scaled and sized depending on the device. And it wouldn't make any sense to have it rotate on the iPhone anyway. So choose your target and then the info tab and then change the supported interface orientation for iPhone to be portrait bottom home button only. We're also going to require full screen. 
This means that we want to ensure that our users can't run our app along with another app in split screen mode on the iPad. And we're going to be doing this because we want to be basing our layout of our view based on the device's width and height. So we'll want our application to cover the full device dimensions. So tap on the plus button at the last row and choose requires full screen. And then set that value to yes. Let me choose an iPhone 13 Pro as the device and I'm going to build and run the application. And you should see that the new launch screen displays and if you try to rotate the device, that hello world doesn't rotate. That's the iPhone. If I exit to the home screen with a Command Shift H or by tapping on that home button, you'll see that the Wordle icon is there as the app icon. Change your device to an iPad Air, fourth generation. And then run again. You should see the same launch screen, but this time when I rotate the device, the text view rotates as well. Exit to the home screen and you'll see that icon, but I want you to open Safari, and you'll see that Safari has split screen options. Choose that. But when we choose our Wordle app, it doesn't go into split screen. It must take over the entire screen. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. So now that our app is set up, we're going to start developing the design of our interface. So in the next two videos, we'll be building out the game board and the keyboard so that it'll scale well and look good on an iPhone or an iPod Touch or on an iPad, either in portrait or landscape mode. But first, let's make sure we commit this to our GitHub repository, in case we have to go back to lesson one sometime in the future.